Thanks, Doc. How are you? Yeah, fine, thank you very much. Uh, you've had a uh, double album release recently, haven't you? When did you release it? August 4th uh, it came out. We uh, did a gig at the Voodoo Lounge to promote it. And then uh, we sold a few hard copies that night. Well, there's not any online copies yet. We're going to wait a little while. We're just trying to get rid of oh, all yeah. the hard copies we can at the minute. And then How many hard copies did you have? We started off with the first batch was like 100. We've gone through nearly three quarters of that oh. in the first like month, just over a month. That's good. Mm. Which is very really happy. Yeah, it's actually, not too bad at all. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, we sort of like gave ourselves a number on how many hard copies we want to sell before we uh, put it on, put it on yeah, for digital download and mm. things like that. Mm. It's, 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 a, it's a nicely uh, it's packaged right. item. It looks really, really nicely right. done. And uh, the thing is as well, you've got loads of different sort of guest artists on it, haven't you? Yeah, that was the idea. The, uh, the other album we did uh, was called Split Personalities, which was uh, my project, and I worked with all these guys. And we wanted to do sort of a sequel to that and work with everyone else, <coughs> as many people as possible. This one was mixed personalities. Mixed personalities, yeah. So, and, uh, so how many uh, guest artists have you got on it all together? Oh, mate. 30 plus, yeah, there's o yeah, just over 30. That's including like producers, DJs, vocalists, other people, instrumentalists. Is that the right yeah. word? Yeah, but musicians. Yeah, like, there's just a good mixture of, yeah, of all sorts on there. And when you perform live, do you sometimes have some of these guest artists out? With yeah, you we do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have uh, good friends of ours under the covers. They come support us quite a lot when we're gigging. They're a rock duo, a cover band, and then they come and do original music with us, which is brilliant. We've got a lot of love for those guys. I mean, it's taken a lot of uh, time and dedication to do it. It did. It took about two years altogether, to be fair. Yeah, just over. And uh, There's some beats on there that are older than that as well, aren't mm -hmm. they? Yeah, we had like instrumentals that were just put away that we've used and pulled out for that, and then... We've even got your son on there, Endo, as well. I know, well. he's on there as well, bless yeah. you. Yeah. Which yeah. we will be playing tonight. It's on that list. Excellent. We should have got him down, really, Clean shouldn't we? Too. We should have oh, done, done a live performance. Yeah, 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 done a live performance. But he has been on a couple of other times. With, uh, yeah, we saw them. Uh, yeah. yeah. What are they called? The, uh, what's that? It's group? completely, yeah. Uh, <laughs> untouchable, <laughs> untouchable records. Untouchable records, that's, yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Well done, Sue. So, hey. how, 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 how was the gig uh, down, down at Voodoo Lounge? It was a good night? Really, really well, banging. really well, yeah. yeah. It was a banging night. We filled the place out. Hot, though. I think uh, old Michael was very happy. And to think that we were there a year previous doing an acoustic show and played to, like, four people. Mm. That's, excluding, the that's excluding the bar staff. Like, yeah. And then we'd gone back a year later and, like, ran the place out. It was really nice. Definitely going to go back there next year. We need to take some fans with us, though. Uh, obviously, you've been down there. Yeah, you know? of course I have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it means yeah, fans as in yeah. like windblow. <laughs> yeah, as in windblow. It's not as fans as ah, yeah. as in windblow. Oh, yeah. I, lo I tell you what, I think I lost a stone or two that night. <laughs> no joke, no joke. But yeah, it was really nice after all the hard work to have a decent response. Mm. And all when that place is packed out, though, it's, it's a good atmosphere, isn't it? Oh, it's brilliant, yeah, mate. It was so good, and the support acts were brilliant as well. We had Scumbus down there. Mm. Um, Warren Island. Yeah, Warren Island from uh, Nottingham Way. Waltz. Waltz Mid from Switch. Ipswich, so we brought Ooh. quite a few people from Eddie out of the Woods. area. So it was a really area. mixed audience then. Yeah. yeah, man. It was brilliant, mate. So nice. Made it all pay off. There's a track on there that's got um, some, a couple of Polish rappers from our town as well, Grantham. It's quite nice because um, it's in a different language. You're switching it up, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. So there's one yeah. verse that's in Polish, and then the next guy that's come on, he's like switching like two bars English, two bars Polish. And rhyming it all, which is like yeah, it mixes smart. it all up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Max and Cuba. we don't understand the most of it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. It's well, nice the voice is a the voice is an instrument, isn't it? Really. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, Especially in rap, in a way. Definitely. You know, yeah, so definitely. anyway, uh, even though you were string short, what's the uh, first number you're going to do for us this evening? Uh, we're going to do a song called "Limits Unknown," which by me and Tom. It's a uh, yeah. We've got two strings missing actually. Oh dear. <laughs> We'll survive, we'll survive. Or we'll pull through, yeah. This song's called Limits from the Moon. Too weak to gain the power, too high to try, come down. I'm too slow to beat the hours, to change the life I found out. My dreams deprive my sight, my Wrongs I find always feel right Like I try and look inside But my own ego makes my eyes go blind Why? My limits unknown My limits unknown I 
guess my limit's unknown Guess the key to life is to prosper alone These rappers, man, they only draw up on the boat Showing off their money in a line of cologne Why my nights are long, but my days are no I'm just a slave to the money, it's the bittersweet cold Why they're earning dough, I could see they're broke See the poor try and give, why the riches know that the world's bust But I love it nonetheless No one's gonna stop me from giving it my best In the east they're committing, why they're killing in the west Give to charities, but their mouths aren't fair, go check Go and show them, do something right and learn and we'll grow Friend, I'm not looking for an army, I'm not militant I'm looking for a heart and one that ain't ignorant And that's why, that's why the leaders don't change, bro Man's wise will keep us a strange soul Deep lies, we breathe, no escape No, you can't see the truth while they're deleting your brain, bro And that's why, that's why the leaders don't change, bro Man's wise will keep us a strange soul Deep lies, we breathe, no escape No, you can't see the truth while they're deleting your brain, bro My limb is unknown my limits unknown I'm so limitless You say you anticipate it But I come visit this I make stories with my bars Try picture this Try picture that My limits unknown And that's a fact My limits are known on this track My limits are known And there's no going back But can you face that Any limit unknown to man I can make that Then I break that Cause in this world My limits are known And I'm full blown Yeah, I'm full grown When the sick is out And the sick is torn I'm in a zone Yeah, yeah Come join AJ and myself Cause my limits are known And I'm a limits unknown I'm a limit son no and I'm a limit son no and I'm a limit son no and I'm a limit son no let them know that my limit son no bro through life I tried to find a, a reason for retribution Seems I'm neglecting you bruv No need to test my future These words are mine and I know that You can't respect my truth fam Seems I'm forgetting you man Seems I'm forgetting you fam My limit son no my limit son, no. And I'm unlimited. Trust me, they can't give it this. AJ and Tom Pure spitting on the rhythm, it's limitless. You can't limit spit, you can't limit what we do in any time that we give it. Pip these lyrics, I'm not giving for the little man to listen. Not a quitter, still a sinner, getting high, and I'm a Christian. Not that I believe in God, I believe in something, something that's bigger than us. It's bigger than Aaron, and it's bigger than Tom, and it's bigger than the government that we can't trust. And now we can't trust, and now we can't bust, and now we can't protect the people that we lost. We can't touch, and now we can't bust, and now we can't protect the people that we lost. We can't touch you now, we can't bust her now We can't protect the people that we love, sir My limb is unknown My limb is unknown My limb is unknown, no, no My limb is unknown Thank you. I've got to show this uh, CD again. Apparently, we had a bit of a uh, faulty camera there, so there we go. There is the uh, mixed personality uh, CD. Who did the cover? Uh, the Street, cover was hand drawn by uh, a guy called Neil Streets, from actually my kid's granddad. Streets, the art, um, hand drew it. Oh, that's think. excellent. Because it just—it just, it looks like a, a bit of a graffiti, doesn't it? Really? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. He does have that take on a lot of his artwork. Yeah, I like the way it's got the uh, heads in the bowl with a whisk. No. Which at the yeah, time, mixed. there was actually seven members in our band, yeah. and there's seven heads in that bowl, but since he's had drawn the cover... We've, we've got an extra man. Yeah, we've got an extra man. So, so there's eight of you now. Yeah, yeah 300 of us now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we're constantly growing. And uh, again, the packaging's all, all handmade, hand-wrapped. Yeah. Everything's all handmade and hand-wrapped, yeah. so a lot really of Really nicely done. Yeah. Very lot. frustrating. <laughs> Wrapping them, definitely. Like, Cotton, it was all right. Yeah, it was an yeah. arts and crafts moment. We was all sat there on a table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prick stick out. Did you, get to, did you get to that place with the big warehouses, Craft World or whatever they're called, <laughs> yeah. buying all the gear and stuff like that? How did you print the covers, though? How did you do the covers? Local print shop. Ah. Went to a local print shop. I try, like, I try and keep everything local, as local as possible. I try not to go on the internet and buy anything for two reasons. One, because you don't quite know what you're getting until you get it. That's true enough. And two, if you go locally, you're keeping the money locally. Yeah, that's what our thought. economy needs. It don't need money going mm. all over the place, does it? It needs to all be stuck in our yeah, own yeah, yeah. towns. For all Local up. is best if you can. So, yeah. yeah man. You know, so. Homegrown. <laughs> from Grantham. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Homegrown from Grantham. Which is only like 30 miles down the road, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, 20 minutes. On the yeah, ground. quick run. So, uh, AJ, how old was you when you f first thought about oh, playing some music and stuff like that? God. Uh, must have been like 13, 14. 
I, uh, when I was younger, my granddad tried to teach me to play the guitar. Not, like he taught me the basics, but mm. it didn't really work out too well. Do you know what I mean? It was one of them things where, uh, you know, what I mean, I I wasn't doing what he like, uh, impatient and stuff like that. So it was better when I picked it up myself and started teaching yeah. myself to do it. But it, uh, yeah, it, it kept me away from uh, any negativity and anything playing my guitar and everything doing music. Then uh, got older, got in a band with a friend of mine in Peterborough, and that all stopped. And then I stopped music for a good few years and met up oh. with all these guys and. Yeah. Uh, Cracked on again. Really. What, what was the name of the first band you was in then? It was you called Amicus. And what sort of music was that? It was just like indie rock mm. sort of stuff. There was a bit of rapping in there. That I tried to sneak in. but <laughs> you, you, You've always been a rap fan then, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's always been the way forward. And then Tom was into his grime when I first met him. And then I think I converted him into a bit of a singer and that yeah, as well. I'm, so. Yeah, I'm happy about that as well. But it was good because uh, Sooth came to town. He was working in town. You're from down south. Yeah, I moved to Grantham from Milton Keynes. I lived in Milton Keynes for about five years. I started rapping when I was like 16. Yeah, and so, like, on my travels, met a lot of people. I travelled around loads of different places. And it just so happens that I stopped in Grantham, and I'm glad that I did. You met these guys. I met these guys, yeah. And I, I worked at the same site that Tom worked at. Yeah, mm. my friend He must have heard like, his mate and him heard me rapping at the back of the bus. And that's yeah. actually how we, he got in yeah, contact yeah, yeah. with me on Facebook. Well, like you was on the bus on the way to work or whatever? Yeah, yeah I used to do that night in at six in the morning. Half <laughs> <Yeah, like, laughs> five in the morning on the way to work. They were like, will you shut up? Nope. <laughs> it's like someone's singing and I turned around and I was like, nah, Seuss rapid. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Yeah, it all come together naturally. And again, we keep on meeting more people. Like, like you, were saying about, you were saying about people that are on the album that come join us for live shows. Yeah. There's a, a Miss Chantel and a Mr. Shane Catamole. Uh, under the covers rock duo they uh, helped out on the, on the album quite a lot on production vocal they're on uh, some of the tracks as well do you know what I mean vocally mm. uh, they've done live shows with us quite a few now yeah like, like so I mean, you like said we try and keep it all local like all the production and everything's all done by us excellent do you know what I mean There's we no recorded thing. drums in my uh, in my kitchen <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, and I've, I've seen this picture of, of, of the van, the van, the studio yeah, yeah, in the yeah, van. Yeah, yeah, that box, yeah, yeah, that's Shane's van. That's yeah. Shane's van right there. He's our live live. Had a mixing desk set up in the back of his tranny, and then uh, had the drums set up in your kitchen. Yeah, and all the cables went out of the out of the van box. through the letterbox into my kitchen, like about twenty odd, thirty odd. What did the neighbours think? Oh, I just told them before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording music next door. And I don't throw parties or nothing like that, so they can't complain. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, well they, they all have parties and that, and get smashed every weekend. I don't. So you just you just have drums going yeah, on. Yeah, it's only ever during the day. It's never after. Like it's never. In the evening. Nobody works night shift then. No. <laughs> I don't think any of my neighbours work. <laughs> so I'm all right. <laughs> I mean, it all happened the same way as, like, say, with the guitar and teaching yourself the same way we produced that album. We've just mm. been learning over the past few years. Yeah. I mean, there's quite a uh, art to it, isn't there, really? Yeah, I mean, at first we were just using a loop pedal and recording through Audacity, and uh, we upgraded, we got Logic and that, and we just learned. We didn't have a clue how to use it. As you went along? Yeah, just learned Great. as we went along. And I don't know, mate, like, personally, don't want to blame me on horn or anything, but it's not bad, considering. No, 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 no it's good. We didn't good, go to yeah. the studio or anything to get it done. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. It may be rap, but it's a pure spirit of punk that is doing it all yourself, really. Hey, it's not just rap. It's I'll tell you what, you'll be yeah. surprised when you listen to that. Yeah. I'll give you a lot yeah, of no, there's, You will be shocked. There was this uh, SoundCloud group on Facebook, and they sort of do reactions to your music. Mm. And I posted a song, it had Sooth on it, it was like a hip-hop rap song. And then the next song on our playlist was a country song. And <laughs> guy's reaction. Like, he was like, what on earth, do you know what I mean? Because one minute... Catching people out. The next yeah. minute it was country yeah. music. He didn't quite know what to make of it. Do you That's know what, what you get with our album, really, isn't it? Yeah, we don't want to be box man. We just want to yeah. do all sorts of music because we all love all sorts of music. Do you know, what I, mean? I know Gwither does. Do you know what I mean? You're a big fan of rock music as well. He might be a rapper, but I think a lot of people don't realise that hip hop itself is made from loads of different. Every music stems. Of course, yeah. It's all an evolution. Not just hip hop. Evolution. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, the first people who used to rap, they used to rap along to Gary Newman songs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's true, it's true. Yeah. You watch documentaries and uh, go back to New York and the first rappers used to uh, rap a lot to uh, British electronic music and wow. stuff yeah, like that. And it, yeah, they used to sample it and, you know, move it back and forward to make the beats on the vinyl albums well, and stuff like that. What on Netflix the other day about... Yeah, there's a show on Master Flash. Yeah, Grandmaster yeah. Flash, yeah. how he uh, yeah. sampled old dance tunes and turned it into break beats and stuff. That's really interesting. Mm, yeah. well, I love the... Uh, growth of it and history of it and everything and uh, me and Gwiver are huge fans of Michael Jackson when we were younger I think that mm. was a big driving force for music for me to be honest like 
I used to love Michael Jackson and the positive message that was in his mm -hmm. music. So we try and put a positive message in our music as well. Which is good. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? What's the next number you're going to do for us? Time. <clears throat> oh my eyes, I'm blinded by the sunlight, I'm reminded it's all right cause I'm still here, I'm still breathing, I'm still blessed with life and I think damn! And life, we're privileged to live it, just think about how many life had died for us to get here so Baby, I could be quite positive, mentality negative, put down to my environment, it's all relative, I represent this, even though I live with a death wish, till my life is ended, it's splendid still, don't promote the stainless steel, don't promote the holes with the cheap fuels, with the low self-esteem and no sex appeal, please be real to yourself, you can find happiness in hell, you can't predict what time foretells, but time, it will taste the world, and time, it will taste the world, and time, 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 like time, time moves too fast, and time, it creates the past, and in time, it can heal the heart, but don't watch that, cause time could be in time, there ain't no stopping in time We climb from the bottom in time Memories can be forgotten in time We can watch roses blossom like La 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 Where an old tree will die a beautiful flower will spawn a life will go on, but don't get me wrong, I know you're overworn out, but stay strong as last as it is, even though we can't find it, a fight for real, we're too clenched, but it fears until the till the will come along with the apocalypse, I believe we can find pure happiness, but you gotta take your chances, slow down, you ain't gotta live life the fastest, I know these times are the darkest, but we gotta try your hardest to provide the love that our heart give, but too many love half-hearted, was it you're scared to give, receive, please, we can find inner peace, like time, time moves too fast, and time, it creates the past, and in time, it can heal we're hot, but don't watch that cause time could be ours in time There ain't no stopping in time We climb from the bottom in time Memories can be forgotten in time We can watch roses blossom like La 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 Every day I count my blessings, every day we learn more lessons, every day we keep on guessing, but there's no time like the present. In time I see the past, we decide, I see our great skies turn bright, I see us take stand and fight, cause I know there's true love inside, I see it inside, a true love that's pure, we got so much it could be yours, but don't let the hatred absorb, and you gotta go and give some thought, you're only as smart as your close your friends, be real with yourself, don't pretend it's not too late to make amends, spread love, spread love, it'll be better when the time ends, like time, time moves too fast. In time, it creates the past and in time It can heal a heart but don't watch that Cause time could be ours in time There ain't no stopping in time We climb from the bottom in time Memories can be forgotten in time We can watch roses blossom like La 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 You're coping well. You're Thank coping you. well. <laughs> <laughs> the fingers are getting a bit sore. Because <laughs> I know you broke one screen. How, how come you were short of another one? Because we're just useless. We're always short of an eight. <laughs> 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 just useless, man. We went to uh, the Stamford Festival uh, in summer. And we turned oh, up there and uh, our drummer turned up without a bass guitar. <laughs> It's his bass, he brings bass, and he actually ah. got the we could, bass. Have, we, we could have winged it and just... Uh, and we asked somebody to borrow their bass guitar, but they said no. <laughs> <laughs> All them musicians <laughs> down there, and not one person would lend you... Uh, oh, no. Honestly, it was like... That's right. But, um, like, oh. That ain't the first time we've had a problem with the bass either, was it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, there's so many of us, it just seems like sometimes it's just one thing after another. Just disorganised <laughs> chaos, then, is it? Yeah, it does seem like that. Oh, I'm fine, though. So that's what we are, though. Yeah. Yeah. Collective, <laughs> disorganised chaos. I'm perfect. <laughs> but when it comes together, it is banging. <laughs> Uh, there's a few shout outs uh, for people. Uh, shout outs to uh, Shane Cuttermole, <laughs> Tony McSlaw, <laughs> uh, Chris Moore. <laughs> hey, Chris. Bullet. <laughs> hey, what, Chris? Annie Gascoigne. Hey. Chrissy Annie Appleyard. Hey. Michael Day. Hey. Dean Hankins. Hey. And Jennifer Nichols. Uh, hey. Guys, thank you very much for uh, listening to the show and uh, watching the uh, live stream. Yeah.
<laughs> if anybody have got a spare guitar, they can get it over to Hurlington yeah. Centre in the next. He needs it. He needs it desperately. Jokes, jokes don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it's like. <laughs> you never know. Somebody might turn up. One never knows. You know, we so. went to a, a show in Corby, Northamptonshire, not Corby Glen, and. Um, they turn up randomly to do the show with us. It was nice. Yeah, they had a surprise. They was so. like, oh, have a good show and everything. That's the duo mm. that performed with us quite a lot. Yeah. And they had a gig that night, and they were like, oh, have a good show. They had us on thinking, oh, do you know what I mean? And they just turned up, which was a lovely Cancelled surprise. Cancelled their gig to come to perform with us. Which well, nice. well, which, which venue in Corby did you play? The X. The X. It was an yeah. ex-service man's club. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. Um, it was a hip-hop night there, so like all the other acts there were all like DJ and, mm. and rappers. So yeah, yeah. It was nice. It's the first time we've ever gone to that environment as a full band. Yeah, right. yeah I think I know it's all sort of on the edge of town, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. very different for us, because a lot of the places we've yeah. been, some um, yeah. rock uh, bands and everything, and yeah, we're usually the music, only hip-hop yeah. there, but there we were the only band, yeah. and yeah. it was a bit... It went yeah. down well. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, it was out of comfort zone, which is a good thing, yeah. I suppose. Of course, yeah. I've definitely, like, they've been invited us back again. So. Yeah, mm. we definitely will do it again. She's so quite popular over there, that sort of rap scene, isn't it? Hip-hop is, yeah. Yeah, I was surprised, I was surprised. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to break down the doors with that, because obviously I think a lot of them are just purely hip hop heads. Yes, of course, yeah. Trying to convert the hip hop yeah. heads to yeah, you're a crossover. Universe. Yeah, and doing the same with the rock people. You know what I mean? Trying to just yeah. realizing music is just bring music. people together, man. That's yeah. 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 Like, and we, I think we've done a lot, like done, with that album, we brought a lot of different personalities together. Yeah, because I reckon we've got a lot of people who don't generally listen to rap listening to it now. Mm. Since since this album, since it's doing festivals. So yeah, it does generally you, you was quite busy over the summer, wasn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How many gigs and festivals did you do over the summer? Seemed like you did a lot. Off the top of my head, I can't really count. Thanks to Suf, he, he does yeah, all the yeah, organising in that respect. Thank you. You're the booking agent? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So if you want a show, holler at me. You know what to do. <laughs> 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 any, uh, any, any gigs coming up in the uh, Peterborough area? Uh, not, not that's planned at the moment. I mean, um, normally we lock off and have a nice quiet winter to ourselves. Do you? Yeah, yeah but studio, I know yeah. a few of us, we've got our heads together with some, we've just dropped an album, we need to keep yeah. active. Yeah, yeah. hungry keep for it now, like usually right. we have a break in that and stop during yeah. winter, but I just want to keep going. Just keep it's alive. Silly, some of us are going to have a bit of a break least. and just chill out. I mean, the, there's other members of the band that have got their own band projects going on as well that need to put mm. time into, which is fair enough. But so, it's so much fun though, it's wicked. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to probably hit up a lot of open mics throughout the winter. That's a good idea. So I know uh, a lot of the music, live music, seems to struggle throughout winter, doesn't it? And we're going to have a fully string guitar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And backups. Yeah. Try it. Have you, have you done the puzzles one in, in town? We actually have. We haven't. No, we, we haven't. Yeah, All the men. Shout out to Mr. No, Waller. We do, we do need to, we do need <laughs> to get to the puzzles. Yeah, I mean, Alex will definitely uh, be interested. We had one planned, but something went wrong, I think. I yeah, I could remember reading what, about it, and I was going to go up there and see you guys, but you didn't. Clutch or something like that? Yeah, which was a shame. I mean, yeah, remember was it was at a college recently in Coventry. They had us over there to uh, promote English through hip hop, and we was in the uh, what, what what would you say the uh, like the refectory? Was, yeah, the refectory, the, like their canteen yeah. sort of area. Yeah. Yeah. Playing acoustic there, weren't we? That yeah, was different. We had what, yeah, yeah, yeah different people like walking past. Do a demonstration on the importance, of, so that the students know the importance of like English and literature. Yeah, like making the construction English of cool. lyrics and lyricism and things mm. like that. But uh, we enjoyed that, and they they yeah, enjoyed it as well. So with a bit of luck, we might. I mean, we're they asked like us to do workshops. Doing, yeah, they do. They? Been looking at things like. Oh no, you should do that because that's a way of sort of making a living out of music, really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the positivity yeah. of it again yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Something out of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the students are going to enjoy it. Like that and the sort of secondary schools, you could, you know, that you is. get these little touring groups of people going around to secondary schools all yeah. the time. You know, they get a fee for it and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's well worth considering. They didn't even have a music course. No, they didn't have a music course at the college. Which was a shame. They had all this lovely yeah, music studio. equipment there, studio and everything. Day. Just not being yeah, used yeah. Course. Yeah, oh, that's a great course, show. Shut yeah. the course down. Yeah. Have, have any of you done a formal music course? I you know. I went to Stanford College, I didn't you pass the course though. Yeah. Oh. Did you? Did you <laughs> drop <laughs> out? No, they taught me how to use Cubase and I was away. Put my headphones on and just sort of locked oh, up. Oh, you was, you was, wait, you was doing dance music all the time, wasn't you? Didn't get the paperwork on music course. I did two years, I passed it and I didn't learn Anything, bro. <laughs> Anything <laughs> that I did there stuck in my head, didn't it? So confetti on it. Yeah, not in. Well, you must have done pretty well to no, pass it, was, it. Yeah, it was good. It was it was banging. Like, what, what was it? Because there's there's different music courses, isn't there? Some of them are quite technical, <laughs> and uh, some of them are more more live based. It does vary around quite a lot. I came out of uh, school, and then I just went on to the first course that was available, sort of. Yeah. Thing. 
and that was just like a I think it was a BTEC course in music technology yeah. or whatever oh, and yeah. then I went on to the next one and I did that and then after that I just I didn't do anything else after that was you yeah. learning production yeah, but that's what I mean. I wasn't. It wasn't interesting me so much. No, you just be sat there. It's like, just yeah, too technical. Like, a lot of technical stuff. But I couldn't get me. I couldn't get my head around. Yeah, it. Like, yeah. I, I couldn't understand. The best it. thing about my course is that I met Toby, who's that drummer now. So I don't think mm. that a drummer if I had yeah, done that right. course. Who, who was your? I've been asked to ask you. Who was your tutor at Stamford uh, College? Well, I can't even remember me. <laughs> 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 Whoever he or she was, she did a good. There was a guy with glasses. He was in a band. He, uh, I don't know, but uh, the other guy, there was two lecturers. I actually can't remember any of the names. But one of them, a uh, guy with glasses, and he was on top of the pops once. Yeah. And the other lecturer, do you know what I mean? Sam Chapman. Sam Chapman. Sam Chapman. Was on top of the pops, and uh, the other lecturer used to bloody put his top of the pops video onto the students when he weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> Proper old top of the pops retro video. What, what band was he? Can, can anybody know what band? North and South. North and, North and South. South. There we go. South. Yeah. Sam Chapman had their own TV series. Did they? Wow. You, you get taught by them in order. No, I just know it. Oh, you know it. Did uh, our uh, video assistant tonight, J Jack, just go to uh, Stanford College at the moment? So. Yeah, shout out Stanford College. It was good. You yeah. probably won't remember me. I was there a year, and like I say, I'm a lot of people say that as a the, the music courses and drama it. courses up there were well, really I good. I met a lot of good well, musicians mm. from it as well. And I, I know I, if I'd have passed the course, I probably would have gone on to do better things, but never mind. But you, you're, you're still enjoying well, doing music, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, all, yeah. It's all worked out for the best. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's the next song we're going to play for us? Life is a choice. This song's called Life is a Choice, <laughs> which you'll find on the album. Hmm. He's good at plugging. <laughs> yo, I can't hear my, I can't hear my voice, but yo, yo. Life has a choice, you either bite all or die in vain In darkness I can't handle a light of day Consumed within myself and this hatred I I wait to find a place that I can escape in life I'm drinking liquor till oblivion I bottled up It's a nightmare and I'm scared to be honest but when my eyes are closed, this is the life I chose It's unexpected, so I can only try to grow Within crime, I don't want to lose my time again And within poli- want to lose my life to them It's how I'm feeling, now I'm crippling myself with this Living in a system, in prison where hell exists and they can't protect me with security The purity of who I am affects my insecurities The more I dream, the more I hate the way my life is The more I ate away, the more I stay the same inside If I think about the past, or where I'm heading now Or where I've been, or where I've gone, or where I never find I feel blind, and it really makes me wonder Rhymes struggling to read off this page in my book of rhymes Undenied in this humanitarianism Where the truth has an airy vision But I believe we're all the same no matter what Cut the colour of your eyes, never mind I've done. The pigments in my skin are insignificant I'm still a human being with this resilient soul Why be sorry if it ain't the right apology And why would I care if that's my ideology I'm rising up from the mark of the beast I always speak my mind and wear my heart on my sleeve Till the day that I depart from this earth into the skies above I'm finding love inside the words that I'm writing But I'm still ashamed of myself and the mistakes I chose But mistakes won't define me, they'll just make me grow And I develop into try and be a better man Carl this time wasted and I regret it fam Let me tell you we don't need no more war No more trouble No more trouble So we don't need Let me tell you we don't need no more war No more trouble No more trouble Dictators only live to enslave the human race And to one day, it's true I say, you could erase that And you should face facts, computers replace human brains Illuminating the truth, hope you're afraid fam now it's a sign of the time designed to subside my mind while I'm fighting for life And why am I finding this impossible seeing a dominant species conquer us predominantly To when the government's covenants, punishments burn down And all this struggle and suffering runs out and that's critically enough said we're mentally in prison with in misery and bloodshed now fall into the powers to be devouring peace down on their knees worshiping now was these cowards believe 33 rounded degrees bound to receive acceptance from us if you only knew the half of it would your heart begin marginalizing these narcissists i was stuck in poverty without food i was starving if that's a struggle and i can't imagine the gaza strip it's got me thankful for the life I'm living unfathomable I cannot handle this design I'm still in I have open eyes and open mind But still I can't see Why dead fun Hitler's Third Reich or hierarchies 
And you could say a lie, but it's obvious Since when is truth in my mind been monotonous This conglomerate to where murder is a business And this cancerous world is terminal in sickness and it's crippled in the crepitude and riddled with it sent it through a spiritual endeavor too The holy scriptures were written by man To manipulate what little faith religion is fun Say I'm ready or not, here I come You can't hide I'm gonna find you And take it slowly Ready or not, here I come You can't hide We're gonna find you and make you want me Say giant steps are what we take Walking on the moon I hope my legs don't break Walking on the moon I said we can walk forever Walking on the moon I said we can be together Walking, walking on the moon Okay, I've got a couple of uh, messages for you. Uh, Damien Fitzpatrick, he says, uh, what's up, guys? It's uh, been some time. Uh, Katie Mansfield, amazing, proud you having having you playing at my event. Uh, Michael Day, he says, uh, great guys, great music, for fun listening. They're having a good time. That's what it should be. Oh, legend. Yeah, Shout out, hey. Damo. Miss you, man. Um, and Kaylee, yeah, we're playing an event in November, aren't we? November 3rd. Yeah, King's Arms. So November 3rd, King's, King's Arms in Grantham. We were with Carrie the Crown, I think, was on mm. your show. And uh, Brainwash. 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 That's, that's a good Brainwash. name for a band. Brainwave. Brainwash. Brainwave. Brainwave. Yeah. Brainwash would be a good Brainwave. Band, yeah. I think it, they're called yeah, Carrie the Crown. Yeah. Which would be nice because uh, met Damo at Stamford College as well. So. Damo and Fiat Street. Yeah, he featured. Well, it's always good when you go to like a, a music college and stuff. Well, college anyway, but you do great make friends. Yeah, yeah, great for networking and stuff like that. It's got a question that always amazes me with people who, who rap and stuff like that. How do you manage to remember all the words? I don't remember anything else. <laughs> <laughs> and that's funny because you don't remember the words half the time. Uh, <laughs> shamelessly listening to our own stuff. Yeah. <laughs> There's uh, yeah. to be proud of, but yeah. Do you write them all down? Yeah, I'll. Well, yeah, well, yeah, well generally then speaking, then we'll write everything down yeah. and then we'll go through it a few times. Usually after like in the brain. A couple, yeah. couple of times of doing it, it gets stuck in your head. Once you know what it starts with, you know what it ends with because it's all a continuous cycle. Like, it sort of all trips off itself. Yeah, it's, all a continuous, though, like, it's all a continuous cycle. When I write, like story, I like to like. keep on repeating yeah, it and go through it. In the writing process, the like. recording process, you obviously, the way Soup writes, you'll finish a lure, say, four bars, and then you'll go from the top. Mm. do it again and then so every time he's writing more lyrics he has to go from the top so, oh, like so, so you've still got the rhythm the, sort of thing yeah, yeah so if I'm say for example on the third verse of a song yeah if I want to finish off writing the third verse of that song I've got to then perform to myself in your head or the whatever first and the second and the chorus yeah. so and then when you lay your vocals down you can do that it's lodged in as well mm. so Aaron he'll write it and he has to record it there and then straight away you no. know what I mean? Like, yeah, I forget the rhythm of words. Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. We all got different techniques and doing and it. I'll be different yeah. to that as well. I've, I just write the whole thing if I can. Yeah. And then try and record it and absolutely flop it. Hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hope for the best. So there's a lot of ideas coming down to band practice every week, then, is there? there must, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah we must r wind our band up, to be honest, because a lot of the stuff was already pre written. So, they have to so learn we'll off. take it to them and then adapt it to perform it live. Yeah. But uh, this year, like, well, next year we're going to definitely get in the studio with a band to make sure we build from the ground up as a collective rather than individually bringing make. songs you know yeah, yeah. Mm. and how often do you how often do you all get together and have a practice yeah, well well while well, we're doing shows throughout the summer because we have a show every week and we'll be meeting up every week so you don't really need to do a practice once a week once every two weeks mm. but it's nice to uh, do a practice just to see each other yeah like, like just yeah. To not even that like a lot of us are friends anyway, so we yeah. see each other. Like we're going to see Dizzy Rascal, and we like this yeah, month and stuff, and we all meet up as friends outside of the band as well. It's not like we just get together as a band. Yeah, no. yeah. We are all friends. Is there's a quite a bit of jamming going on between you guys. Oh yeah, definitely. That's when the best work comes out, Doc. When you're just jamming yeah. and not even thinking yeah. about anything. Yeah. We've got the next eight projects sussed already. Mate. <laughs> 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 how, how big is how big is a song book altogether? Then you must have loads and loads of songs stashed down. Well, uh, we, just we, just, we just blitzed a load of stuff up uh, on YouTube for yes. free and just uh, put it all out there. Yeah. Like yeah, so like all we've our past projects that we've released in the past. There must like be over 50 tracks on that YouTube. Yeah, we've like just to uploaded onto a new YouTube. Um, yeah, on the new YouTube channel, there's like 54 oh. songs that we've just decided to put up. Well, that's good. That's, that's good. 
my mixtape and then that's stuff the first album together, beginners there, one and first yeah, and then up split first album and, and then Tom's mixtape's going up there as well so Mm-hmm. You know, uh, which you never know what's around the corner. You get everything out. Oh no, you don't. Full no. focus on the album that we've just dropped. We're saying mm. we want to try and rinse as much as we can out the album that we've just been working on before we, uh, yeah. yeah, like think about it's our next move. It's all fun, man. All right, we just do it for fun, really. Have right. you have you tried gigging down London yet, guys? Yeah, we've been. We've done, we've done, done, we've done, we've done a few shows. Yeah, we've done a few shows. Luton, Luton, which is nearish, mm. which I love. Luton. We do need to get more in London though, but we have been down south. I'll tell you what, is it? we've got a nice pool in Nottingham. Mm. Kimberley. Oh, yeah, 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 we've got a nice pool in Nottingham, like Eastwood, Kimberley, all around there, yeah, like, which yeah, is Alpha nice. Mm. Yeah, 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 we've done an A at Me Duck Festival, we'll look yeah. forward to that next year. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good festival. Yeah, really good festival. festival. We, we stayed there, for, well, half of us stayed there for the Friday, Saturday, mm. come back on the Sunday, and the other half stayed Probably my Saturday. favourite show we've done. Uh, uh, yeah. Susie's built that from the ground yeah. up, uh, and she, we, she re- reached out to us, and we're going again next year, but she's a legend man. Like yeah. she's built that from the ground up herself and how many people were there man it was a huge festival considering it doubled the f- that was the second year and it doubled from the first year what so thousands of people yeah, 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 well, yeah not yeah. thousands i don't I think, think thousands of thousands i don't you know say thousands or i'd say hundreds yeah a big hundreds. quite possibly like mm. a few hundred i'd say there's a good thousand people there mate, to be honest um, um, but looking forward to that next year that's all raising money for charity as well which mm. is brilliant excellent it's meningitis now meningitis yeah that's it but yeah but barbecue for breakfast with a <laughs> With a beer and a ziggy, you can't go wrong. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, festivals festival always life. festivals <laughs> always are good fun, though, aren't they? Yeah, Spend yeah. most of the day in my onesie. <laughs> <laughs> What's I only it? went for one night. I can't take two nights. No, I want to go for the whole long weekend. <laughs> listen, listen, I want to come back on the Monday next time. Go on the Friday, come back. So he's a Souf's a party animal, is no, he? No, this is what Souf is not telling you. The last day he woke up with a face full of beer. That's because that night that he was, was, my one, beer, he was the first one. He He's was the not. first one to pass out. We got to the tent and all we could see was his trainers on his feet, <laughs> hanging outside the tent, yeah? <laughs> fully clothed, <laughs> asleep, yeah? First one to go to the tent. We're all getting on it and he's asleep in the tent, cuddling, o- cuddling up to an open tin of beer. <laughs> when I come back to the tent, yeah, there's four of us squeezing into a, into a one-man pop-up, two-man pop-up this, tent. This four of us right. like sardines. Meanwhile, oh, where was I? Like, he was <laughs> stuck in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up to a face full of beer and he's been cuddling I his was tinny. Co- I, <laughs> I was not happy. There's, there's, a, on there. <laughs> there's a song in there somewhere about a tin of beer, and that, I'm sure. Why well, well, you want to get yourself in a car boot sale then, isn't it? And then you can... Uh, Buy a couple more tents and stuff like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can find tents cheaper at car boots. Huh? What's the next song you're going to do for us? Uh, we're going to do Defcon. Defcon. This is Defcon. I said, look. I wanna speak to you in confidence. It's not that I'm not confident, it's just a fear in consciousness. My cause is this. Not playing concerts, cock consider this. this. Not consider it, consider it. Consequences. Condemning the economy to consume condolarity. Collapse contractions, be collapsed like their economy. Follow me. Controversy, I don't convey. I'm not come backwards, only pros can't padrate. Concentrate, cons can't concave. Cons are here to conquer, consummate. The thoughts in your mind when you contemplate. This is death, come on, I'm a conscious mate. Got a mind that relates like a computer. Are you confused, bro? Can you compute, bro? I've got some truth that I consume, yeah. It's judgment day and I'll wreck on you. Whether Colony of pillages to construe ya. Honestly, I'm living in a confused world. Constitution can't con the youth, they can't con the troops and can't conquer you. Comprehend, we can't pretend it's convenient as they condescend to just do what you do, man. They can't condemn the concept of what rise a constant threat. Bless. This is DEF CON. This is DEF CON. This is DEF CON. My contribution is a constant movement, my conclusion is construct improvement, misconduct's got constant stock of losing, convenient control, lock of snoozing, convict, convict. Zooming at night, nocturnal in a Congo, assuming they're the honest snake and the condom that's rooting in a commune, confederal contract shooting, conduct looting. So you're being condoned nowadays, you need protection. Condom, protect us, con to so many cons, don't know where they came from. I'm not on board of Concord with cognac, but prepare for combat when I make contact. My content contains conspiracy contracts, made it contagious, a fan con mads. Con mans get mashed up on concrete slabs. You must be Coco with a night if you're a coconut man and I won't bow down to conform. Fam. You silly don with your silly con so jam Con trying to seem one constantly staying demons like Constantine ha. And this is Def Con 
This is Def Con. This is Def Con. This is Def Con 1. So I collect my Concord, the commune, man. I'm gonna fly to Congo to conserve ammo like a V, a condon, a man in the canal. Can can waiting for conflict, waiting where it's shallow. shallow. Pros to cons, don't the box, contagious. Drugs to go on board, the world's complaining. It's Def Con 3, man, we can't contain it. No, the Def Con 4 is the end of days. It's a strange place, pain's full of condensation. Fogged up your contact glass and mate. It's killing off the world, so congratulations. The concept of up rise, trust they made it. Constant consoles and consolations. Come from Congress and occupations. Consult us, no obligating. But in us, you can trust no contemplating like This is DEF CON And this is DEF CON And this is DEF CON And this is DEF CON 1 Yeah, I got a bit tongue-tied there, didn't I? <laughs> I can't remember hearing that one before so I don't think you've performed. Album. I don't think you've played it down here before on the, on the oh, station, have you? No, no. The, uh, the idea is it to, uh, you know, pros and cons, yeah. positive, negative. Yeah. Like, the idea was to fit as many con words in there as possible. That's the. Like, it's called Defcon One. Mm, cool. That cool. was the first album. Like my verse is not on the first album, but it's off the first album. It's track one, it's with personalities, which and is extreme. A nice yeah. concept. Mm, There's true. a remix coming soon as well. Yeah, we've got mm. a remix that coming with an American chap that we know, called Tim Cruz. Oh, we've got a few. Uh, a few more shout outs. Um, shout outs to uh, Marie Barnard, uh, Trevor Byrne, hey. Hey. Uh, Chantel Cuttermole, hey. Jamie Firth. Hey. Oh, I can't quite read that one. I think, is that Karim? Karim. 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 Shout out Karim. Karim. Karim Brett hey. And uh, Shelley. Shelly Connors hey, Nanny, that's a, that's a, that's a, thank you very much for uh, 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 listening to, and so, I'm sorry for the mispronunciations here and there. Thank you. <laughs> Legends. You've got, you got plenty of fans. So I take it when you do a home gig in, in Grantham, the place must be pretty well packed. Yeah, the castle yeah. gate filled yeah, up yeah, nicely. It's a good nice turnout. It's nice. Yeah. yeah, it's always a good night, isn't it? Always, yeah. Yeah. always ends up messy. Definitely. <laughs> Someone hurts themselves as well, but in a good way. Yeah, yeah, someone's always <laughs> <in a good laughs> <way. laughs> they did You always get a bit overexcited like somebody jumps off the stage or whatever and It's one of them venues, whenever you walk in there's nah. always someone there that's about to fight or just great <laughs> fight. <laughs> no, no, no. No. To annoy you. Craig ends up falling over. Yeah, or I'll fall in the sleep at the end of the night, he'll fall asleep he'll on, fall the, on the sofa and then he'll just fall yeah. off it and then end up hurting himself. What sort of venue is the Castle Guys? Is it a pretty big venue? It's small. It's small, it's small, small it's but it's tiny. tiny. It's tiny. It's like, it's a little rockers pub. Is it? It's wicked. Yeah, it's nice and intimate. Been there for nice a lot. Well, been there for a long time. Traditional sort of music pub, yeah, yeah, I think it's been there years. Yeah. I think it's probably one of the best for live music. It's the only place that it's really does live music, yeah. that, which is. Oh no, I, don't say, I wouldn't say it's the, no, it isn't the only place. It isn't the only place, but it's like the only yeah. place that does regular. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I suppose it's a little bit like Pete, but it's quite hard to get gigs for original bands and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, a lot of the pubs and the venues put on covers. I think there's probably more venues in Peterborough than yeah. live music. People don't want to hear live music, they just want to get drunk and have a good time. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the that's problem right. nowadays. I don't realise they can have a they can get drunk and have a good time listening to live music. Good really, because it clears out the people that you don't want there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's true. People yeah. turn off of their but usually, the, usually people who go to see live music are not really into a rowdy night, are they? They're there really to enjoy yeah. themselves most of the time. Yeah. You yeah. know, so depends on the venue, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's true. We did old Trevor, old, old Trevor's <laughs> a legend for putting on venues. He does the Castlegate all the time, and yeah, they're always banging that. Yeah, the D. H. Lawrence music festival. All old bids and that is brilliant. <laughs> 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 so we sort of in the D. H. Lawrence, Lawrence music festival. How do you wangle yourselves on the D. H. Lawrence? Well, there's a, a, a conservative club. club. Yeah, yeah, a conservative club. Uh, Chris Barlow, that's uh, over them ways, and um, we hit up a couple of his open mics. He's a good uh, pal, isn't he? We went and done a show for him last year at this festival mm. to celebrate D. H. Lawrence. We play that next year. I'm taking the Jeremy Corbyn T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so we, the only venue, it was one of them venue <laughs> festivals where it's like. A oh, actually scattered around town. Very, yeah. So uh, he, the only venue that was big enough for our, for a band was the, was the Conservative Club. Club, and I said to the lads, I was like, "Listen, lads, just uh, brace yourselves for what we're about to walk into." And we sort of walked in there, and the same again happened this year. Like we walked in there, and then just like mass amounts of suits just left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a good turnout. <laughs> there's a lot of people that come back that saw us last year. I mean, yeah. There's this little old lady, she must have been about eight years old. Last year she was dancing to Kinnan in the name of while we were playing, doing a cover of Kinnan. She was there, we got video footage, she was there. 
and she was again there this year as well. She come back. She remembered us yeah, from last year. Oh, some brilliant. little old biddy, bless her. Like giving her some, yeah. She like, proper into rage against the machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Moshing out <laughs> <and> some rage <laughs> against the machine and that. She absolutely. She come back again this year to see us. But well, that's um. Yeah. He's changed it, changed the name of it now. I think it's Roots Live Music Scene now because he's took the acoustic out because he's going to start doing bands. And bands stuff. Yeah. But honestly, for a live music scene, mm. that's the best. Yeah, which I would say to music. anyone that's listening that's, that makes music, like if you want to get into that side, I know that there's a lot of the, uh, the other side people. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. The other side, and if you want to get into that side of music, all right, his name's Chris Barlow. And whereabouts Chris is Barlow. whereabouts is this uh, festival that he runs every year? Yeah, yeah the. the Eastwood in Nottingham. Is it Nottingham? There's a nice little, yeah, it's on the yeah. outskirts of Nottingham. There's a nice little community there. Yeah. Between them all, they all do loads of like open mics and loads of uh, festivals. So it's all just in that area there on the outskirts, Eastwood, Kimberley. The day we went there, there was obviously it's, the pubs have all got different bands on. Of course, yeah. Times, and everyone's moving around to these different pubs, pub crawling. And yeah. I've never seen anything like it. The, the streets yeah. were full. Yeah, that, that was yeah. Kimberley, the Kimberley Jam. Yeah, it was amazing. It was literally just like a street party. It was like a wicked. Yeah, yeah. It was a bit like out in Luton when we went and done yeah. the Hightown Festival, which I was excited about because I've got a lot of family from Luton. So I was just like, yeah, yeah, my nan and granddad come yeah, down. Yeah, hard to meet his nan. Family. Yeah, yeah, so uh, that was nice. That was like a big street party. It well. sounds like you've been having some excellent fun, and that's what it's all about, really, oh, at the yeah, end of the day, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Having fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're not chasing anything. That's the ultimate goal yeah. Yeah. for the love, man. Yeah. The thing is, if you're not enjoying it, you end up making pants music. Yeah, exactly. Of course, that yeah. Energy that, do you know what I mean? The energy you, you're putting mm. into that music if you're not enjoying it, that's what do you know what I mean? You're that's gonna, what I say. It's if just going to affect it, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to enjoy it, otherwise yeah. you're just going to... Everything started happening organically, so I don't see why we should try and... Push it along. Too much yeah, yeah. If we get offered a gig, yeah. we'll go, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Sounds like you've been doing... It sounds like to me like you've been doing really well, guys. Oh, thank yeah. you. But we're just yeah. doing it organically. We're not trying to push anything. It all started organically out in the bedroom jamming with these lads and then we've all... Homegrown. Yeah. Again, homegrown. It's the way. Don't forget us. Don't forget us when you're on Six Music and Radio One. Nah. <laughs> BBC. Yeah. Is that BBC? Who? <laughs> <laughs> we'll stick with you guys. We'll keep. Thank you very much. BBC. Who? Yeah. What's the next song you're going to do for us? Oh, oh, mate, why are you doing this to us? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're my guest, and that's what. How many? How many you done so far? Three or done four? Five. Four. Done four. You, four. You done four. four. Oh, I tell you, no, no, one, one more, and then we'll play Six. some tracks from your album. That's fair enough. Because I think, I think AJ's done really well with uh, just four strings. Four strings, four strings. Yeah. Two strings down. Need Could be a song. Bass. Could be a song too. <laughs> 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 That's all I can do. Fam, it's poison. I found it in my dreams. I found it in my sheets. And now it's in the streets and the noises. Polluting all the beats. And the truth is when they speak, they're destroying peace while employment. It's the power of the beast, so think before you speak, cause the masons ain't free. While enjoyment, it's all I've got and so I speak, and believe I'm a preach, but the government's needs to push poison. It's just poison. And the reason why we believe their lies is they teach us to believe in rights. We're free outside, but not free in our minds, no. And the reason why we believe their lies is they teach us to believe in rights. We're free outside, we're not free in our minds. Why? And the reason why we believe their lies is strange. Their games, they deceive our lives. Do you really believe they can free your mind? Why? And the reason why we believe their lies. If you don't know why, then believe I'll find a reason for us to exist in this life like poison. It's just poison. <laughs> yeah, it's poison. poison. I guess the point is there, and you are unaware. No one that you're running scared than the noise. You could come prepared, you could wander here, yeah, but I know it's there while avoiding. All the guns they share, cause it's a world full of hate And I've had my share, it's annoying The way they claim to care, off the weapons we're against All come from there, so we're deploying What a way to end misfortune Kill us all off for the wrath of fortune Think of all the crap they taught you Man to fight for your country, that's a way to pawn You go on shave all your heads, keep on supporting The day's gonna come and we'll be at war Cause you're with them and I'm with peace I'm gonna preach for the benefit of freedom of speech, not poison And the reason why we believe their lies is they teach us to believe in rights. We're free outside, but not free in our minds, no. Hey! <laughs>
Took That's you three strings down. Three strings down. And the reason why we believe their lies is they teach us to believe in rights. We're free. We don't free in our minds, no. And the reason why. No, man, I'm done. Yeah, we can't do it. Oh, so nah, nah, AJ, that's him. That's your fault, man. You made us play one more. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 pushed them too far. Pushed them too far. A heroic performance there by AJ, mate. Well <laughs> done, well done. Uh, we're we're going to play some uh, tracks from your uh, your album. Please and and the first time. one is a, a track uh, called The Struggle. Uh, any guess or it's on this one, or is it just you guys by yourselves so to take it? The main vocalist is our actual keyboard player. Mm. So you don't, he, he's not normally a main b lead vocalist, is he? You don't really get the chance more to be a producer, yeah, yeah. He's more producer and on keys. So it was nice. This is one of a, a song that he wrote. Okay, uh, no swear words. I'm no uh, swear words. Well. Featuring Quiver. Well. Don't worry, there's no swear words. I get the look off your technician every time we do a song. Just like, <laughs> you swear. He's <laughs> like, I'm going to cut you if you swear. He's, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's got an M6 machine gun behind there, guys. Don't you worry about that. All right, here we go with the struggle. Uh, I don't work with the CD players that often, so uh, hopefully everything will go okay. You wake up, get dressed, eat food, digest, do your nine to five and then rest. But you wanna get out of that mess? Every day is a bore, it's always the same old chore. The entertainment is a mental strain, but you keep coming back for more. You're watching TV with a smile, though, just as fake as the Jeremy Carl show. The poison and lies been washing your mind. I haven't got time for that vibro. Moved out, live off the land, and with the birds and the trees and the sand. With my guitar, I'm gonna raise the bar, give humanity a helping hand. So take me away. So take me away to a bad place So take me away So take me away to a bad day As soon as you're born, you give it a name Not secrets to life or a path to the fame This school is like prison This is your house to make money for the system All these choices make you think you're free It's an illusion, can't you see? You're all sheep, you got brains It's time to get out of those chains Unite as one, don't fight, spread love Uprise with me and watch the system crumble Let the fact has tumble, revolution to God the world's looking up to your lies And it won't be taking much longer So stand with me and fight against the powers that be Because together we're so much stronger So take me away As soon as you die, you're given a grave From that point, life just isn't the same It's shameful and distasteful It's been wasteful and it's painful When you're living this life without a care in the world I'm always prepared for the worst But hope for the best And I am seeming to only pray in times of need Where is my God when I need him? And why am I lost in this feeling? It's obnoxious believing Freedom has not ever gotten a meaning to me The meaning of life is a life with a meaning Even in strife I believe it So to die for reasons why I'm dreaming of fighting for freedom So take me away so take me away to a bad place So take me away So take me away to a bad day So take me away So take me away to a bad place So take me away So take me away to a bad day That was uh, the struggle by the uh, collective. Uh, I like that one. Oh, thank you. I think I might like most of your songs, really, to be honest. You know what I mean? So there's, there's all you always got a structure to your song. You got a start, a middle, and a finish, and quite a lot of melody going on in there as well, aren't there? Most yeah, of the time. Like the 
first chorus verse and then a rap yeah mix it up a bit yeah always, always works well sort of thing so it was written by Craig Featherstone you can usually catch him in Grantham Buskin on the high street make sure you chuck him a few quid <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's ever in Grantham he's there for 12 hours a day bless him have, have you guys got yourselves a uh, Buskin have you done any Buskin here in there nah not me mate I'm yeah. not confidence with that God, you should do. That would be great for you to just get out in the street in the city centre somewhere. I mean, Nottingham. Not in Nottingham. Not I mean, you're not too far away from Nottingham. Like, oh. like you say, having to go in Nottingham would be. Uh, mm. But you could pull a crowd in Nottingham somewhere along the line. Yeah, it would be something. Yeah, I reckon you've got to give it a go. As long as I'm on the side of the cigarette. You've got to give it a go. Uh, so the next track we're gonna is gonna try is uh, track five, uh, "Drag Me Down." Yeah, uh, who features on this one? Featuring. A girl called Moala. We done a show in Camden for City Link Up last year, and we met her there. And since then, we've made track music. Yeah, a track with her. Yeah, she's brilliant. Go check out her page. She's wicked. What's her name again? Noala. Noala. N U A L A A. Tell me, can you make it better, baby? And I know it must be weird To see the way we both grow All I know is you're still here I'm just hoping that you won't go And I wanna see things clear But I've been smoking on my homegrown All I know is you're still here I'm just hoping that you won't go I won't drag you down, I lift you up Still in love, in case you don't know I'm feeling proud of how it turned out I'm not in doubt, just hope you won't go Changing, 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 just hope you won't go Relationships are challenging with the cheap shots and the battling to chip shots and traveling to dragging baggage into wounded hearts from the past. Can't be fixed with bandaging, but we're managing. That's a part of being stubborn. I don't see the issue. The love that we hold, you know, the love is unconditional for our children that grow, made from our love, blood, and tissue. I hope you know I won't go, cause deep down I miss you and I won't change. I can swear it on the world, cause if I change, I'm only gonna lose myself. I hope you feel the same. I hope you know as well it's such a shame But it's the best for a boy and girl It's never an ending But only a beginning Never taking a loss But only taking winnings Love is pure How could it ever be seen If my love is raw It can never be shared amongst women I won't drag you down i lift you up I'm still in love In case you don't know I'm feeling proud of how it turned out I'm not in doubt Just hope you won't go change it just hope you won't go changing. Just hope you won't go changing. Just hope you won't go. Oh. <coughs> Let's 
excuse me, these guys are making me laugh this evening. <laughs> <coughs> Dragged drag me down by uh, who was who was your uh, the lady Nuala. who was on the Nawala. So I'm going to play one more song, and uh, I'm going to uh, do a bit of a uh, family Mason family promoting this evening because uh, my son Endo, who is a rapper, also known as uh, Curtis Mason, he features on here as well, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, from Untouchable. Untouchable Records. I think they've got a show coming up as well soon, uh, down at the Met Lounge, somewhere on the line. Uh, yeah, Untouchable uh, Record Night. Uh, so this is the uh, Graveyard Shift yep. by... Uh, hang on a minute. See, I told you. <laughs> right, Graveyard Shift, Collective and Endo. Start can be a hell of a thing You gotta follow your heart When you don't know what it means What if the circumstances change Or the feelings rearrange Where every other step back Is just another change in direction That you thought was well placed But it's half past four And you're staring in the mirror now You've just been reflecting Trying to see it clearer Mrs May she says she listens But does she really hear us? See the top one percent Yeah they know we're ever near us They know nothing of late nights Trying to get that pay right When that day comes I'ma give my mum a pay rise But until then Tell her sorry for the late nights I'll be on my grind I'm never getting bored Nothing into something's what I do with my thoughts Trying to navigate these webs Where all these feelings can get caught Enough man they hold skeng But they ain't never killed before All I need's a bit of leng And I can kill you with my jaw They say they represent What did they do for the poor They're encouraging this violence Like we're spiraling out of control So with my rhymes There's no denying I'm out of control Now they aspire for the throne But I fiend to build my own And I can tell by what you spit That there's not much you really know I'm not gassed up on a hype I've got a substance I could grow Never know where you get Till you take a chance bro Atrocities of how we live, the power of our mind is blinded by a clouded vision. You don't care about the planet, saying it with our conviction. While you're down to finish the empowerment of our position, living for the future in clairvoyance while the hours ticking, worshipping its instability. Since your five religions, I was crippling to the ground, and you were like the vision until the foundation of humanity is drowning with it. But I'll be shouting in it, rhyming till my final breath, and I'll stride the length of a mile for my final step. My test of faith to educate myself and find a sense to why the media deny the truth and incite regret. Supply the West with all the money that the world can hold And exterminate the population with its birth control And it hurts my soul, fam But that's the way it is For it's never too late to change the way you live Enforcers taking orders from a new world that implore us to kill each other, so they applaud us. TV brainwashing nations, the only way to save them is re education or extermination. Blinded eyes by the lies that are blatant, scrutinized by many statements, but it's okay, cause it's drilled into us from a young age. It's okay to have a rage of screw face, it's okay to dress down, no taste. It's okay to die yourself. These days and these problems only haven't just arisen. Look throughout the many years. There's been many examples given. We're not just a number lost in a system. We are people unite and fight to break the prism. Thank you for uh, getting them logos sorted for us, man. And I'm um, looking forward to seeing it, the album launch next week. Thanks for being a good sport and helping out with the album, brother. One love. You don't want to play the Peace. next song, it's going to probably be rude.
Don't be playing no next songs <laughs> if, if they're rude. Thank you very much, <laughs> guys. Guys, we've had a cracking evening, cracking uh, evening this evening, cracking night this evening. Oh, whatever, I get a bit mauled up now. Too tired. Yeah, uh, thank you very much for coming on the show. Don't, uh, best of luck for the future. Still say you're going to make it. I know you will somewhere along the line. You know what I mean? And uh, I'll have to come down from these legendary lights to get a bit messy. Yeah, Because I can mess it up more, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and get one a bit more local. And then yeah, 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 yeah. Get a gig down here, get down puzzles or up in the Met Lounge or somewhere like that. The ground for mics up to show yeah. how animals go mad. <laughs> <laughs> Let them out of the cages. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Thank, um, thank you, Doc. Thank you, Doc. You're most welcome. Uh, this is a slow dive, a song called I Don't Know Because I Can't See It Without My Glasses On. Uh, <laughs> it's called Everyone Knows, taken from their album, Slow Dive. Well, it should be. <laughs> <laughs>